Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add multiple pages to a PDF file using Photoshop. So this is my file, this is about 9 page document and I've added all this into a PDF file. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to show you two ways to go about this. So this is the file I have in Photoshop. As you can see, these are several pages. I have page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6 and I have page 7 over here. So assuming you want to add this to a PDF document, we can easily automate this. Okay. Remember to subscribe, like and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. Let's get interactive at the comment section of this video. So now let's see how to go about this. I've already opened this in Photoshop. So when you want to automate this or add this into a PDF, let's go to file then down here come to automate and then we have a pdf presentation we we'll select that and you select over here what you do next is there are two ways to go about it and i'm going to do all the two so i have already the files open in photoshop so i can click on add open files so immediately you click on add open files all the files over here will be pop up to pop up every file over here you can see i have page one up to six but the seven is not ordered the seven is at the top so you can easily drag hold and then drag and when when you see the blue thing now you can just drop it so i can bring the seven here remember you can easily order the steps over here once you have everything set up you can easily go ahead and then add some few other things the inclusion over here if you want to add a file name do your presentation the copyright and all those things you can do that we also have presentation which i'll be doing a video on that how to create transition animation presentation and all that so subscribe and turn on post notification for that video okay so let's go to the multi-page document so over here we have the page set up and you can also browse and i'm going to do that next assume you don't have the files already open in photoshop remember the files you are using you can save them as jpeg or a pdf file then you open them into photoshop so now we have this set up and then I said if you want to include the title, artists and all those, you can do that. And also remove a page if you don't want to. You can just select that and click on remove. There you go. So now let's go ahead and click on save. And from here you have to give the name of the document you want to save. In my case, let me just say try. And I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can easily access that. So this is the final work I did. So we are just trying a different one. So I'll just go ahead and click on what save. It's going to give you a pop-up and i'll be doing a video on how to save a file a single file directly into PDF. there are some settings compression security that you can't and some parts will protect your pdf document for that like turn on post notification for those videos over here just go ahead i'm okay with the default settings i then click save we are saving this pdf that's probably going to take some few time to update the content of the pdf we are saving the same they should be done by now let's go back to our desktop and then confirm that so remember we save it as dry so i have it here let me just open this file as you can see we have all the files over here and see seven pages and you can just scroll through this see how this is so we've added this we just automated it didn't really go to any stress to add this one by one so this is how to do it this is the first way and the, the first way you should have all your files open in pdf open in photoshop you have all your files open in photoshop the second way i have to make sure i don't have the files open okay so this is just one page at the moment but let's go ahead and see how we can add pages that are not already in photoshop you go through the same process go to file go back to the automate and then go to pdf presentation and in this case we are not adding files that we open in photoshop so we have to click on browse click on browse and then you have to locate where you have those files in my case i have the files open i have my files down here so i'll just look for the files i want to use so this is the file i just want to select this file press select the first one hold down shift and then select the last one so with this we don't have the files open in the shop we want to add them directly by browsing to the location and we'll go ahead and click on open so you can see the same way we have the files open over here and then every other settings we want we want to remove the file just click on that and click on remove and also duplicate a page if you want to 
So let's go ahead and create the same multiple page document. I'm trying to create PDF, multiple PDF, multiple pages within a PDF. So go ahead and click on save. And then let's give it a name. So let's say second. And I'll save this also to desktop. Click on save. And then just follow the same format, save PDF. Then let's see what is going to happen. And see. So Photoshop is just going to move through all the files we move, we selected from the location, we seeing them fluctuating on your screen like this, the saving was going on. So it's going to save them one after the other and it's done saving. And we go back to our PDF, remember we save a second and then the process should equally be the same. So you can see we still have everything saved direct into our PDF file. So this is how to add multiple page to PDF in Photoshop. Remember to subscribe. Like and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Like, come away again. Bye bye.